Hey guys, it's Gus and Carlos from Hardware Unplug. And today we're gonna to be checking out the Lamzu Atlantis wireless mouse. But before we get started, please make sure to hit that like button and show support. And if you want to see more cons like this, don't forget to subscribe. With that being said, let's begin. All right, so we've been using the, the lamps with Atlantis for like, what, like two weeks? Two weeks. Yeah, like two weeks. Yeah. And um, before we get into our experience and whatnot, let's, let's uh, talk about the details on the mouse and the uh, specs and whatnot, right? So first off, let me talk about the unboxing experience. Mm -hmm. I think the unboxing experience has got to be one of the better unboxing experience on the mouse. Because mm -hmm. the box slides off, right? And then when you open it, it has these two little flaps. There's, it looks like a book, honestly. It yeah. Like a book. Yeah, but then you open it. You open the right side, and you see the moss right there with the little dongle on there. And you open the left side. You got a little. You got a little bag. Uh, I guess. Uh, what do you call this material? Like a suede. Suede. Like yeah. A suede. Uh, suede bag. little bag. Yeah. It comes with an uh, extra pair of feet. It has glass feet, and it comes with the dongle extender and the cable. Right. Yeah. Does it come with the extra pair of virgin grade PTVs? Yes, it does. It does? Oh, yeah, okay, it cool, does. cool. Yeah. And um, uh, quickly the cable. So the cable, if you're gonna use it in wired mode, it's actually uh, angled up. Mm -hmm. So I think that was pretty cool. Uh, by the way, I didn't use it in the wired mode. I use it only in wired mode. Man, ain't no one using that in wired. <laughs> but if you are, you know, you do have the option to have yeah. the uh, angled, uh, angled cable, um, which I think is pretty cool. Um, so the quality of mouse, I think, is actually surprisingly. Even though I did my unboxing in the video mm -hmm. and I flexed it in the side. Mm -hmm. I did hear it creak a little bit, like kind of something kind of slapped into snapped into place. But afterwards, it. It feels pretty solid. I haven't had any yeah. issues with the no. quality at all. No side flicks either. No, right? no In side game. flicks either. No creaking, nothing mm -hmm. like that, right? Yeah. Which, by the way, I think the buttons on here, the clicks, it uses kill, kill, not kill, I'm sorry. It uses uh, blue shell pink dot switches. Does on, it? Yes. Okay. On the mouse one, mouse two, and the side buttons. Yeah. And in my, in my opinion, I think these are much better version of kill 8.0s because they're tactile like kill 8.0s, mm -hmm. but... They feel very snappy and responsive, mm -hmm. in my opinion, compared to the uh, the Kale 8.0s. Yeah. And I really like these I know, I know, uh, uh, what's his face? Uh, Jigsaw up on Twitter. Shout yeah. out to Jigsaw. Um, Jigsaw hates Kale 8.0s. <laughs> and every time he gets a mouse with Kale, it doesn't matter what mouse it is, yeah. Kale, mouse with 8.0s, he always gets a messed up one. And he yeah. sent me pictures of and whatnot. And I'm starting to see people are, they don't, they're not liking Kale 8.0s no, any, anymore. No. And I understand yes. why they do tend to double click double in click. the long run. Honestly, yes. I have I personally haven't had that issue. Thank no. God I haven't. Thank right. God, yes, right? Because I, <laughs> I know a lot of mice are using kill up right now. Yes, but I think Lambs are starting wants people to stray away from that yes. at least with this mouse. And and, and I'm not gonna lie, I didn't mind the clicks. Honestly, I didn't. I, they're good. They're good. They're <laughs> just they, you know they're just good clicks, right? So I think. Uh, I think these are my new favorite clicks actually. I love Kill Eight. Uh, I I like Kill Eight yeah. but I really love the Blue Shell Pink Dots. They're uh, they're the pink dots are they're, good. they're pretty yeah. good. I like them. They're they're my favorite switch so far. Yeah, mine, yeah. right. They replace the Kill Eight Um, so the buttons. Um, no issue with the buttons. No no creakiness. Nothing mm -hmm. like that. Side no wobble. Good. I didn't. I didn't feel any wobble like in game while using it. No, I wanted to. No no no. There is a little bit of a. I think I mentioned this on the the first video that I uh, released on the Lamsey Mouse. There's a little bit of a little bit of post travel mm -hmm. on the not a mm -hmm. little bit. There's a quite a bit of post travel mm -hmm. on the side buttons, but there's li like virtually no pre travel. Mm -hmm. They're like really snappy, right? Because of the switches, um, scroll wheel pretty good. Um, everything about this mouse is pretty good. The bottom, I think this is the bottom. I think is one of the more uh, most uh, the more uh, noticeable concerning things. No, I, not not I, concerning too, because yeah. it's a little flim. It looks flimsy, but it it's surprisingly surprisingly pretty firm in here, dude. It is Again, firm. There's no freaking like a uh, squeakiness or anything no. like that, right? No, no, no. Um, um, I did, I did. Whenever I unboxed it and I was playing with it on stream, I was slamming it. Yeah, because it has DPI buttons, button, bottom, right? Yeah, yeah, because it does have like DPI buttons. I didn't even know the that. Sensor there. <laughs> um, I was slamming it, right? Because yeah. one, the bottom doesn't does not to me it does not look that firm. It yeah. really doesn't look that solid, firm, right? Stuff. Or solid. So I was slamming it how I would normally play because I reset a lot like in game. Yeah. So I have to test that out, right? Yeah. Never once change the DPI on it or anything. So I was so happy about that. I was yeah. like, oh, okay. The reason why I say it looks 
concerning to me is because I, I don't know why like the plastic here yeah right it, it just this is this is I can't I cannot say that it's that it's like super bad here or yeah. anything yeah. if anything it's good I haven't had yeah, any issues, no issues but it just looks like if I were to drop it somewhere high it looks like it'll break obviously it, ha- it hasn't given me any issues it's probably gonna right? look like glass because you see through yeah, yes <laughs> you know yes I mean? yeah you know but but, but again it's pretty not good, bad surprisingly it look it just looks very pretty. Yes, it looks very pretty. Really so nice, the design really looks nice. cool. Also, I like how they had design on the glass feet. That oh, was yeah, super the glass cool. Feet, honestly, yes. I wasn't expecting that. That's super cool. I do believe only the first what hundred or the first thousand uh, uh, mice on the lambs. Uh, pre-orders, right? Yeah, on the first couple suit? pre-orders of the uh, of the lambs and mice are gonna only get glass, glass, glass feet. feet. Yeah, which uh, by the way, they're glass feet. It's good. Um, but you but you guys already know how we feel about glass feet in the long run. So I don't have yeah. to get too much detail on that. But yeah. Um, between the glass feet and the PTFE feet, mm-hmm. I actually pre- pre- prefer the PTFE just because mm-hmm. the glass here, it made it feel more like it, it gave it more control mm-hmm. on the moss, on the camic, on the spiral mm-hmm. camic. When we were using it, I felt like it had a little bit more control. But that could be just because uh, the feet are bigger, right? And the, yeah, and the XM1, which we're going to get into that, the XM1 mm-hmm. uses four little uh, feet. But By I the actually, way, this is a version 1 XM1. Yes, version 1 XM1, right? Um, but, um, yeah, uh, the glass feet are actually pretty good. Again, mm-hmm. no complaints. Yeah. Um, but uh, so let's get into the. Uh, oh, before we get into our experience, um, the cl- let's compare the X and one with the lambs and moths, right? Because I think people are gonna be interested in that. Only right? shape wise. We're not shape really comparing wise. spec wise because this is again first gen X and one. They yeah, fixed all the issues one. with it, so just yeah. shape wise. Yeah. yeah just so just shape. I think you mentioned this that the Moss One, Moss Two on the X One, they're like rounded. It's right? rounded. It's round. Now yeah. I, I don't know. We have, we don't have a version two X One yeah, or, or the, the or versions. you know or the past other eight versions that they did on it. <laughs> um, but we do have the version one, and on the version one, um, if you guys see on the Moss One and Two, yeah. it doesn't really have those con- those concave little yes. curves on 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 there. The Landru does, but it has it very, very subtle. subtle. Very subtle. But I like that because when I was playing with the X and One, one of the things that I noticed was that my fingers didn't feel. My fingers didn't feel quite in place. In place yeah. on on it, uh, and friend, I just didn't yeah. like that. When I was when I was palming, uh, by the way, I'm like I like relaxed palm the mice. Yes. When I was relaxed palming, the lamb zoo, my hand felt really tuck. You know what I mean? It like, like it just it just in. felt good. Yeah, 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 exactly. It felt locked in. Not so much with the X and one uh, shape. Again, I don't know if they changed it with the version twos or not. Yeah. But with but with our version ones, that was one of the things I was immediately able to notice yeah. from the difference between the two. Yeah, and, um, yeah, I thought it was freaking going to say, because there's a lot of things to compare here, right? Yeah. So, okay, so immediately putting your hand on the XM1, mm-hmm. you really can't tell the difference, right? Mm-mm. Um, But I claw grip my mice, and one of the things, because I used the lamb zoo for about three, four days straight, mm-hmm. and then I gave it to you, mm-hmm. and then I used the XM1 in a, in a, to, just so I could compare the shape, mm-hmm. right, in the long run. And when I was using the XM1, I noticed that the sides of the XM ones they're like more swooped in, mm-hmm. and it's a little easier to pick up the uh, the XM one mm-hmm. mouse um, when I'm when I'm gaming. And I really, really, really like that about the XM one. I like the XM one shape. If I'm being honest, mm-hmm. I like the XM one shape just a little bit more, just mm-hmm. a tiny bit more. Mm-hmm. But but uh, compared to the Lamzu, again, I was going back and forth. Well, at the end, like I just finished using it for like mm-hmm. a couple hours. They're virtually the same freaking yeah, they mouse. They're yeah. virtually the yeah, same mouse. If I'm gonna if I'm gonna nitpick something, it's gonna be the sides here, right? The sides here. I guess it makes them a little easier for you to pick up the mouse. But other than that, they are literally the same. And the, yeah. you palm, right? You yeah. palm them. Yeah, I palm them and so I don't claw, right? Yeah. So but I relax palm and yeah. relax palming. I mean You're gonna I feel couldn't that more. I couldn't tell the yeah. difference on it, They're right? The same it, more. It's 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 the same mouse, yes. right? Um and I know probably a lot of people are probably gonna bring this up, or they're probably not. But if you guys haven't heard, Endgame Gear is supposed to be releasing their XM2 wireless, which is their wireless oh, version yes. of the mouse, right? Um, when in like November, October? I don't know. Dude. Around like, there, right? It's been I, I know. So many times. They got delayed, right? They got delayed. Yeah, they got delayed like twice or now. I, I think. Yeah. I, I, I want to say. Um, my thing is this, right? I don't hate Lamzu. I don't hate Lamzu for making a mouse that was kind of like XM1 shape and whatnot, right? But I do have to bring up that I feel like Lamzu, when when it when it comes to making a mouse for your first time, 
I mean, dude, they did it right, right? So me and you talked about OEM shapes. Yes, we did. On our, yeah, right? Yeah. On our yes. past video. And it's funny our how clones. it goes into place with yes. this, right? We don't hate Lambs for making an OEM shape because at, the, because at the same time, they did it better, did they not? The they switches are good. What are we the saying? The sensor yes. is good. Yes, exactly. They give you uh, skates. How, how much is that? How much is a Lambsu? By the way, the Lambsu Atlantis is 90 bucks. 89 dollars at Edis. They're sold so out the, currently. So. so the <laughs> price is good. The build quality of the mouse is good. Yeah, I had yeah. zero issues with this mouse, by the way, guys. No disconnectivity issues. No nothing. sensor problems. No, nothing. Absolutely nothing. So I cannot hate on the Lambsu. No. That, it, it, it gives you no reason not to hate it. Right? No, no, right? there's no reason to hate okay. it. Really. And people are probably going to... I, I, the, the thing I don't want is people to get mad at Lambs because they are copied, essentially. Copy, right? Yeah, there's, copy, differences, copy. There's, there's differences. There's differences, right? But it's, it, the, the, the shapes are around it's the same thing, the same, right? Yeah. So if you like the XM1, more than likely your chances of you liking Lambs are going to be very high. Very it, high. It's, it's, it, it's a good mouse. But just yes. like how we said, if you're going to make an OEM shape, you got to do better. Yes. Technically, Engine Gear is making their own. And we don't know how that's going to be. It could be good. It could be bad. I don't know, right? Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't have it. But they did make it better, right? Them, Lamsu, them, yes. Lamsu so far. Um, but I do want to point out, right, Gus, that yes. I do feel bad for in-game gear, you know? I don't think the whole... Oh, yeah. The, the delays probably chip wasn't... Shortages yeah, chip shortages and, and all that. Or who knows? Whatever, whatever, whatever it was. I do want you guys to support both. Yes. And I don't want anybody to give Lamsu hate. Because at the end of the day... If you're going to give Lambsu hate, you got to get Pulsar hate, and you got to get Pure Trek hate, and you got to get Ponich hate. You got to get uh, all these man. companies that made OEM yes. shapes. You got to give them hate. Yeah. Can't be biased in this situation. Yep. Right? That's true. So. That's true. Um, I forgot. That's what I was going to mention. So the clicks. So you, f you, I really can't, I couldn't tell the concaveness on the clicks. Mm -hmm. Just because I clocked it and I'm more to the back. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, the X1, well, I do the same thing. So. Yeah. I did feel how they were around. D despite that, mm -hmm. these still do feel more rounded than the uh, than the lambs. That's rounds. funny. Yeah, it still, yeah, it still yeah, does yeah. feel more rounded. I just couldn't tell that whole concave thing because it's more on the forward side. Yeah, right? it is. It is more on the forward. Right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, it weighs fifty five grams. By the way, I don't know if you mentioned that the mouse weighs fifty five grams. It has thirty three ninety five sensor. Mm -hmm. And again, ninety freaking bucks, dude. Ninety freaking dollars for the mouse. So, and I think uh, Gen three D tick. I think he said <laughs> something about them, uh, Lamsu releasing a, uh, a uh, mini version of the uh, of the uh, Atlantis. Of oh the yeah, I, th I think so. Yeah, I, I think, think they did. Yeah, I think now I don't know if, if uh, he heard a rumor or whatnot, but if they are, I have I'm pretty confident it's gonna be a really 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 great mouse. Cause yeah. this mouse, <laughs> sorry baby. <laughs> <laughs> so this mouse, Lam Lamsu came out of nowhere. They came out of nowhere. Yeah, they, they, they came they, out of nowhere. They just showed up and said, hey, we're here with the mouse. Yeah, we're here. And uh, it was very surprising to get a really good quality mouse from a company that no one has heard of. And for the price, what you get, I think it's a freaking steal. Especially, yeah. especially if you're one of those people who's been waiting a while to get an XM1 wireless or XM2. Um, yeah. It's very, again, like Carlos mentioned, it's very unfortunate that Endgame Gear... They're a little too late on that. I don't know whatever reason they just didn't release the uh, XM1 wireless before. They kept releasing the same mouse over and over and over. Maybe it was to get funds to make the wireless version maybe, or something. Maybe. For whatever reason, unfortunately, for them, the, the Lambs was here. Right? The Lambs was here. The Lambs with Lances yeah. is here. Now, so, that being said, I'm still looking, despite that, I'm still looking forward to see how the build quality on the Me XM2 wire, uh, on, the, on the XM2, right? Yes, XM2 wireless. XM2 uh, wireless is, is going to be. So again, just like I said, support both companies, honestly. Yes. You know, it's unfortunate what happened in Game Gear. I do want to pick up the XM2 wireless, that being yeah. said. Just yep. because uh, the bottom of the XM2, um, it look, it's solid. It's, yeah. it's not like yeah. this, right? Where it's like hollowed yeah. out just to get to achieve the low weight. Yep. Um, so the only thing that's going to make the XM2 better uh -huh. than the Lamzu. Will be the build quality the build has to quality be superb. Has to be, and the weight balance has to be great. By the way, this weight balance is really good too, right? Mm -hmm. But it has to be really. It has to be. It has to feel quality. It has to feel really good in quality. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up just because of the baby <laughs> and everything. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys pick, if you guys want to pick up the Lamzu Atlantis, I'm gonna leave a link down below so you guys can go pick it up. Mm -hmm. But Lamzu, thank you good so job. much for sending it out and great job. Yeah, they did a great job with this mouse. I have my. 
fun time with it in April. Yeah, me too. Me too. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot the experience part. Um, had a great time uh, using it in ranked. I was playing ranked arenas and everything. But yeah, great mouse. I'm looking forward to whatever else they bring. Yep. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. This is Gus and Carlos from Hardware Unplugged. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.